Hi guys, hope everybody's doing well. All right, just a quick video on a theory that I've been working on, something that I've been thinking a lot about and also did a little bit of testing with. So I'm gonna share that with you guys. I'm gonna share the results on it and definitely let me know what your guys' feedback is and what your thoughts are about this. So my theory is that as host, if most of us on Turo switched our listings over to automatic pricing, we would all earn a whole lot more money and we would allow the technology behind Turo to work better and get smarter basically over time. And the way I look at it is that it's all based on supply and demand, right? And as host, we have somewhat of an idea as to what the supply is out there in the marketplace. You know, we can kind of more or less see what cars are out there, but we actually really have no idea as to what the demand is. And more specifically, we don't know what the demand is at certain price points. So what that price action looks like based on the market and, you know, the time of the year and how people are purchasing and what they're willing to pay. We really have no idea. So what I decided to do was I did a little test with a host in my area. We both have the same exact car. I mean, identical in every way. And we're both in the same area. So he went ahead and put his listing on automatic pricing. And I went ahead and kind of carried about my normal way of doing business and set my own pricing as I've done for quite some time. And I was priced out much lower than he was. I was priced out at $70 per day and he was priced out at $120 per day. And on two occasions within the span of, I think he was probably two weeks. He got the booking um, for his car over my car and my listing, even though I was priced lower. So what that tells me is that it was a place in the market where the price action was a little bit higher and people were willing to pay more. And the algorithm knew that, hey, this car could retain a day rate of $120. And so he outbeat me and I would much rather take in $120 over $70. Now, of course, that is such a limited testing scenario. So in the long run, we would really have to see, but just by doing that, I'm starting to see that, you know, there is really that technology behind the automatic pricing, but I truly believe for that algorithm to get better and better over time, it really has to have control of a large amount of listings in order for it to learn the market and get better at pricing it out. And of course, I think over time, if most people were on automatic pricing, that would lift our pricings. And if any of us have that have been in this market over the last couple of years and know this about what's been going on, is that over the years, you know, people get pretty cutthroat with pricing. And I, I mean, I'm in that boat as well. I've done the same exact thing, which overall will tend to drive prices down. But as hosts, we want to make more money and really want to drive those prices up. And especially as the experience on the platform gets better, the cars get better, the hosts get better, our profile, our listings get built up and we have better reviews that will also help retain those higher prices. Now, I mean, of course, as always, I can only share with you guys what I've learned and what I've experienced. And what I've learned is that the low price, especially from doing this ex uh, experiment, doesn't always win the booking, right? Because there's just different things in play in the market. So I really, really strongly believe, and I kind of went over this in my head in so many different scenarios and um, just recently switched over all of my cars to automatic pricing. And I really think that, you know, especially if you're here in the Orange County area, I think we should try this as a whole. Um, my only intention is to build this marketplace and to help all of us earn a whole lot more money. So if you are in the Orange County area, I think that this would be a great experiment for us as hosts to try and see, to see if we do really end up with the higher earnings on this. And I mean, I'm not sure if this is really entirely a tip or not, but I do still go in and manually adjust my pricing. Like say, for example, Monday through Wednesday, as I talked about in my past videos, I'm still really trying to capture those bookings on those weekdays, right? So if Monday rolls around or today's Tuesday, for example, I didn't have a booking on my four series BMW. And even though it was on automatic pricing, I went in and I adjusted the price and I got a booking. Today is also Tuesday and every single one of my cars is out except for one. And I really think that it's going to get a booking for tomorrow. And also something else that I noticed in the past was 
when I would discount my cars, you know, it would also discount it for the future as well. And then I would get all these future bookings, like say, for example, a booking would land in the summer, which summertime demands a higher price. And so it's like, oh shoot, I would be losing out on um, getting a higher price later on down the line because I would discounted the car. So I think that's kind of the nice thing also with the automatic pricing is that it'll help sort of level that out. Um, so yeah, just kind of a theory that I've been working on. I really, really think that over time, the automatic pricing is going to get better and will eventually help all of us earn more money. Um, so yeah, I think if you're in the Orange County area, you guys should definitely try it with me. Um, all my cars, like I said, are already on automatic pricing. So I'm I'm really going to track and see how this goes and of course as always I will share those results with you guys but let me know what your guys' thoughts are on this if you're already on automatic pricing and kind of what you're experiencing I would love to know um, but other than that that's it for me thanks for watching guys and I'll talk to you soon and I can't wait to hear what you guys have to say about this all right bye guys